So we just finished, y'all just finished filming uh, the music video to the new song, Bounce. Right. Um, out here in Oakside, man, Capistrano Park, man. Yeah. Man, mad love, Desi. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Today was a beautiful day with Dub. Got Dub C to cover the town and, um, you know, shoot something for this project I got I'm working on. Um, and Bounce is going to be one of the singles, one of the first singles. So it was an honor to have Dub come out here and, um, you know, see what Oakside's like. You know, and get a little bit of uh, scenes with him, you know? Yeah. yeah. How you feel about it, Doug? I'm good, man. Oh, she thought I always showed me my years back. You know, all right. Man, well, man, it's, it's, it's definitely an honor to have you in the city, man. But yeah, how, how, how did y'all connect, man? How, how, did, how did this come together? The internet. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I was uh, just scrolling through on Instagram and just looking at, you know, different content, especially after the pandemic. Right. Um, just, just also always kept my eyes on. I never was on the internet. Um, like that and I just took over my Instagram personally I had somebody working it for me and I was just looking at different videos and stuff like that and I ran across one of his because he has so many videos out I ran across one and I was like man this dude can really rap yeah he sound good he sound good you know and you know and um, you know we were just I was just looking at him and I think he was looking for a verse or something like that so I, I, I hit a dub initially right um, I didn't know if he had heard of me or, or not yet, yeah. but I, it was a long shot, you know, and I hit him up, you know, I'm, I'm such and such and, you know, I'm, I'm working on this, this project and I have a song that, you know, I wanted to, to show you. I didn't even say, you know, can you get on it? You know, it was just yeah. like, yeah. can I show you this song? Check it out. And um, so he says, yeah, he says, you know, send me the one that you feel like is, is going to be the one that you want me on, that you, you feel is right. But so he I, didn't know, though, that I already... <laughs> Then scrolled and saw yeah, him. Yeah. He was one of the ones I saw, you know, because I always I just be just scrolling through it. I like, damn, oh, that's dude that he can get out. That's he right. can go. He can go. Yeah, and, and he replied, which was which was cool. So you know, and I was like, all right, cool. I have you know, first step is done. You know, I initiated with him. Now I need to send him the record. Hopefully, he likes it. So I I, I was scrolling I through. I, I was before I sent it to him. I was going through all my songs for the project. I was like, oh, which one would sound good for him? Which one would sound good? And I didn't want the stereotypical like gangster gangster rap, you know. Yeah. So I chose one that was a little more upbeat. I sent it to him, and, um, and he was rocking with it, you know. Yeah. And then we went back and forth from there. Yeah, yeah. I told him I said, send me something that you want me on. That's dope. Not nothing that you would just picture me on. Yeah. You know, from back in the days, picture, give me something that you want me on. And when he send the beat. It was different. It was out the box for me. So I was like, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. So here we are right now doing a video. That's man, a good thing. Man. How does that feel for you, man, to have like someone you grew up listening to out here in the man, city? You know, I, I listen, I listen, like, I grew up on like West Coast gangster rap, you know, funk to the West Coast gangster rap to, to now where it's kind of like that element is not really there as it was, you know, like a decade ago. So for me to be able to like try to like kind of not recreate, but take influence from that type of music and create my own right. in this day of age of music and then have like an OG like Dub C on the song that just solidifies the track you know it just makes it that much more special you know um, it just gives it that extra you know like extra bounce yeah yeah so <laughs> extra bounce. that that right there is just like man like it's a big accomplishment for me and to have him out here and, and to be able to to work with artists that I grew up listening to yeah and I think man Likewise, man. Fan, bro. Much love. Low I profile, dub scene, the mad circle, Always, West Side man. Connection. Even, I'm a big fan of Snowfall, man. Okay, then. And so, even to see the work, how you've evolved from like an artist, entrepreneur to now. Dollar coach. Yeah, yeah man. Performance coach. Yeah. yeah, man. Talk about that, man. Like, no, I mean, you just, you know, it's so much you can give to the culture. Yeah. The culture even gave us so much. You know, I just love, I just love giving back to the culture. And I got the opportunity to do straight out of Compton. Q gave me the opportunity to be a performance coach. So mm -hmm. I'll set up all the performances, work with the boys. And working with the boys, I found out not only was I teaching them how to perform, but also too to act. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't their acting coach, but it was a lot that they were taking from the performances and using when they was playing their roles. Right. Mm -hmm. So when John Singleton came through last minute, they added a Tupac in the movie. And we only had a few hours, maybe 48 hours to work with uh with mark he played uh tupac mm -hmm. and you know and i knocked it out the park uh, for the movie 
And after that, uh, Q, I mean, uh, John Singleton was like, oh yeah, I gotta have you. There's somebody I'm working with. I got a um, pilot called Snowfall. Yeah. Who's just a pilot. And I got a chance to sit down with the youngster with Damn Cement, you know, and he's a hell of an actor, mm -hmm. hell of an actor. But uh, what I loved the most about that was how hungry he was. He wanted to learn. And he already read, did his homework. He was reading books and all that. But, you know, it was nothing like getting one-on-one -on -one with me. You yeah. know, putting him in the car and we went to hug some blocks and yeah. went out, you know, and got something to eat and just hung out and everything. So he started learning, learning, learning. He, he got it down now. And right now, you know, I show up uh, more so of a technical consultant now over the whole urban. I get a chance to just watch okay. to make sure that everybody is right. Because a lot of these actors that we have in, um, in television, not just for the shows that's taking place on the west coast but all around these actors are from different places you know on the earth they're different from different yeah. different different mm -hmm. states you know you might have somebody playing a role in chicago that's really not from chicago right but that's his job or her job as an actor or actress to study and that's why you know somebody like myself come in and i will help them mm -hmm. you know get to you know, reach the finish line you know to, to accomplish their goals and doing so so that was that was something I got, and it was snowfall too. Yeah, right man. up my right up my yeah. alley, you know about the you know the you know back in the days on the west. So you know, and it had me doing my homework. Yeah, I like, even though I knew a lot, you know, but I still went out and did my homework, and we made it happen. So the show success success right now, you know, we're on season five. Yeah, you know, plan on going season six. Yeah. So I think my opinion bro, is the coldest show on TV. Is that right? Yeah, I by far. It. By appreciate far. It. Appreciate it. Recipe with John Singleton and mm -hmm. you know Dave and everybody else over there, Tommy that's that's pushing it right now. So you know, we're just trying to keep it keep it authentic and keep it real for you guys. He's he's become a star, man. Is it Damson? Yeah, Damson. Damson. Yeah, he's yeah. become a star. Damson, man. Yeah, yeah, Damson's a star. He's doing his thing. He got so much more to get. When I first heard his accent, like well, not his accent, but his how he speaks. His accent. And I was like. This dude ain't from LA? Yeah, his yeah, accent, yeah, his yeah, accent. But, to me, it's yeah, no, but I was like, this dude is not from LA because in the right. show it comes off so authentic. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah, that's he's dope. good. He's yeah. good. He's good. He's a good kid. He's good. He know he know how to handle his business. Yeah. He know how to turn it on, turn it off. I never yeah. in my life seen anyone who come to a table read, a table read, and you know, he set the paper down and he goes around while everybody's, you know, doing the table read, he's sitting and he's acting. Yeah. He's not even reading the paper. He study it. Yeah. He studied it already. Yeah. He studied it and he can you know, he just locked it in. Yeah. yeah. Dude is dope. But man, from one professional to the next, you you know when you see it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think one of the things that for us is so dope having you here is just the success that you have but the longevity. Right. To be in the industry for, you know, 35, 36 yeah. years, man. Well, it's it's hard work, you know, with a with quite a bit of luck. Yeah. You know, because you can be good, but the stars got a line. And you got to take advantage of your, uh, not for granted, advantage of your opportunity. I always preach that on uh, like the new show that me and my partner CJ Mac, the Dove CC CJ Mac show that's coming out in January um, 2022. Um, take advantage of your, uh, not not for granted, take advantage of opportunity. Opportunity doesn't come too many times. Yeah. Hi. You know, so when you get a chance to make it happen, make it happen. That's why we here right now. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dumb, yeah, yeah, no. Nah. Making the best out of how, it. How do you feel like working with like with Cube still and you guys' this relationship for so long? Like. Family, blessed. I feel blessed, blessed, humbled, and blessed. I say humbled because you know you can't take that for granted. You know, uh, you don't owe me anything. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say, hey, let's go out, still get down to do shows together. Yeah. Hey, you know, once you come in, uh, get down on this movie. You know, or, you know, I'm talking about far wise work on this movie. Um, it don't it don't have to be that dude is doing his own thing he's right. doing big things you know so right. i feel blessed to still be be there on some genuine shit not on a hand, hand me out i mean on our handouts uh it's it's genuine it's genuine that's my homeboy yeah so i feel blessed to still be able to rock the stage with him and also to um you know to be in this game for so long i yeah. still feel you know i feel blessed man because you know it's a lot of cats that, where are they now? You've seen a lot of artists come and go. Oh, I've seen a lot of artists come and go, so many. I can smell them. Yeah. Mm. I can smell them when they come <clears> on. <throat> I can tell from the moves they're making, behaviors, all of the bullshit, and you know. I mean, even with the, right now, with what's going on, unfortunately, with the violence and hip hop. I could, there's so much talent out there, but I could tell that, you know, the way a lot of guys move, the entourages, and you know, and the shit that's going on, I can tell they're not going to be around too, too long. You know, and, and when I say too long, you might think being here four or five years, six years, you know, we 30 plus in the game, you know, so right. I would love to see other artists come out and be 30 plus in the game. But I could tell 
you know, from some of the decisions and some of the moves the cats are making, they're not going to be around too long, you know. So it's unfortunate. The streets, man, the streets don't lose. The streets don't lose. There's a thin line between business, you know, business and streets. And I say thin line because, you know, in order to make it out here and hustle in these streets, you got to, you know, you got to be business smart. Yeah. Which people don't really realize, you know, and they can apply that in the business world, but motherfuckers don't know when to turn it off. You know, so you fuck around and you scare the person that you're doing business with. Right. You know, when you come out there with the bullshit. Yeah. You know, they want, they want you to bring the real, but, you know, goddamn, don't, you know, you can't be out there on the bullshit, man. There's too many rappers dying, too many rappers getting caught up, you know, in the media, all kinds of stuff, man. So we just gotta, you know, we gotta, gotta make sure the dizzy is straight. Yeah, that's love, man. Yeah, man. But yeah, man, we appreciate Jesus you, man. Be straight, man. <laughs> yeah. Things are gonna be straight. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, with, we, with you we. coming out like that, I think for me too, man. Like just knowing him is, it's, it's, it's an honor, man. Because at the same time, it's like, like everything you said, you wouldn't be rocking with him unless if he was handling his right, business. Right, you know right, what I mean? right. And so, shout out the melee. Yeah. What up, melee? Y'all be looking out for that melee project. It's coming as well. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, man, we appreciate you, man. We'll let you get back on the road. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. We've been man. gone about an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> we done held yeah. up for yeah. the, after the next want, location. It's like one more location, one more location. Don't worry about location. You know, afterwards, you know, that's why I got hit with it. But it's all love. This right here, it's all love. But all I'll love. be real with you, man. This is like for us, for our city. Mm -hmm. It's legendary that you're here, man. Wow. People are gonna be talking about this for a minute. No shit. Yeah, this is legendary. No, nah, it means a lot. Yeah, just, yeah. just this, this huge, conversation, bro. even yeah. if it's five minutes, two minutes, it's, wow. it means a lot. It's legendary. Bro. That's crazy. Yeah. Somebody told me, man, you, you about to become the next mayor, man. Oh man. Somebody yeah, told that, me you're on your way to you becoming the next man. mayor, man. You Hopefully. know, I'm gonna tell you this. Good luck. Yeah. You know, we, we put in the we put the energy into the universe. Hey man, I appreciate. All right. I appreciate. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm here to support you. Well, the mayor, Dove, <laughs> Desi. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Dove. Ooh, oh my God, right here. Right. King of the bounce. Right. Time to time we like to pull up on and now. Separated from the rest that got the bounce. So for my dogs, I spend an extra 40 ounce. We used to ride just to get up out the house. Time to time we like to pull up on and now.